Alright, um, hey everyone, like I promised a month ago, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Bunny Action Figure. Uh, it just arrived today, so now I'm gonna proceed to unbox it and, and show her out of the package. I'll see you guys uh, there. Alright, so here she is out of the package. A uh, pretty basic action figure thing, uh, very standard. Uh, here she is compared to the original Freddy Fazbear figure. The same size, which is great. And also over here to the one from Series 2, Fountain Foxy. And they, she's pretty well scaled. The joints are very similar. Elbows, shoulders, the hands as well. And compared to, for example, the Series 1 figures, the joints are uh, a little bit more tighter, kind of like Fountain Fox over here, but not as tight as those ones, which I would say is perfect. It's the perfect in-between of joints, which is per uh, great for um, to when you want to animate or use them to play, I don't know. Even the head as well, of course. But with the addition of waist movement, which is something that both of these don't have. Well, I mean, Fountain Fox is an exception because the Nightmares did have uh, waist movement. Now, we're gonna go to something uh, more different, I'd say. Oh, and here's the knife, the knife, by the way. Perfect size. Very well done. A little bit loose on her hand, but uh, it still holds, so uh, it's fine. Now we're gonna go a little bit with mix and matching to see how the joints work. All right, so I decided to bring, to bring Freddy into the mix to test more of the joints and stuff. And from what I noticed, uh, these joints seem to be really just made for the security breach figures because for example here, they're very loose, even though these uh, series two is known for having very stiff joints, but here they just, it just wobbles around. Same with um, Freddy's leg over here, for example, as well. Very loose. But then, if we take Vanny, for example, they're very... Well, Freddy's leg is a um, alright movement. And then, the arm here is very stiff, so... If you... It's just up to you what you want to do and stuff, but... Just so you know, Vanny's limbs will be a little bit looser on older figures. But that, that shouldn't be really a problem, I'd, I'd say. Because she's really not the one you're gonna probably mix and match because she's much more different than the other figures. But enough with the joints. Now let's go with the actual figure. So, I think it's a pretty well done figure. Here she is from the back. The head movement, of course. Very good. Seems to be a little bit more movable than the the other traditional figures the waist spins as well arms legs knees elbows all your all the typical joints in these fnaf figures now for the accuracy of course uh, it's not as accurate as um some people would like but it uh, it was probably um done when funko only had like concept art which, which probably explains why she isn't very accurate to the final design. Uh, I, will show, I will be showing a picture now, to, so for when, whoever doesn't know how she actually looks, you can kind of tell the difference, of course, like some missing details, like her tongue, I think it was, the position of the eyes and stuff. But to be honest, it's still very, very good figure, pretty accurate. The, this part, the little the red grid zone is a little bit darker than expected especially when you compare it to how it looked in the promotional art but it's fine the toes have as well a little bit <clears throat> the well i mean the size is a different but it's fine to be honest stands pretty well there the knife as well like i said a little bit loose but seems to be holding right just fine right now so that really isn't a problem so overall what do you think of this figure i think it's pretty good i'll give it like an, an 8 out of 10 definitely a great addition 
to my collection and to many other people's uh, collection it it fits it just fits with the other figures i'll definitely get the other figures as well though they're all very cool as looking and stuff so yeah that is my review on the vanny action figure from funko so thank you thank you for watching if you if you're listening this uh thank you for staying to the end and hope you like the video so i'll see you guys next time maybe on the next fnaf VR video and probably like in a month or two i'll review some of the mcfarland sets as well uh, from fnaf 6 so yeah see you guys next time <laughs>